White Horse by Chris Stapleton is going to be played in standard tuning and then is capoed on the fourth fret of the guitar. From this point forward, I'll be speaking of frets and chord shapes as though this capo is the nut and calling them shapes like G, even though the position of the capo makes this a B. And I'll be saying frets one, two, three, and four instead of the real frets of five, six, seven, and eight. Okay. Um, the intro to this song, first, the song's being played on electric, so I'm obviously showing you on an acoustic. Uh, a lot of the feel of the song is derived from the fact that it is on an electric, so for perfect replication, you need to use an electric. But this is definitely getting the job done on an acoustic, and I'll convey to you, you know, how it's done on a guitar in general. Um, so in the intro of the song on the album recording, you can hear a left channel guitar, you can hear a right channel guitar, and then right down the middle is kind of, uh, kind of a noodly, um, kind of spacey lead sort of thing that's happening. What I'm showing you here is what I can hear in the left channel. To me, that seems to maybe be the main riff that is playing for the that feel. In the right channel, it's a similar riff, but if you feel like what I'm showing you right here is not exactly what you're hearing, you're right, there's a guitar in your right channel that's playing a slightly different rhythm at times and maybe introducing notes like this over that note, creating kind of a dissonance feel. But this is pretty much what the left channel is doing. It's going to be an A minor shape. So I've got an open five string. I've got my second finger on the four string two fret, my ring finger on the three string two fret, my first finger on the two string one fret, and an open one string. Inside of this A minor chord, I'll also be using my pinky finger, which is not down originally, but it will at times go down on the two string three fret to hit that note. And then sometimes it'll get pulled back and go down on the one string three fret to hit that note inside of a rolling pattern. So the first uh, note you hear is either a finger or a pick. I'm not sure. There may be kind of some hybrid picking here, but you can do it just with a pick. An open five string. And then I think that I hear the three string come out next, which is, they're both relative A notes. And then so after five, three, you're going to begin kind of this rolling up pick of one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. So. And on the last round, you put your pinky finger down on the two string three fret so that you go five, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then back to the two string where you're putting your pinky finger down on the two string three fret. And then you repeat five, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. Pinky down to the one string three fret. And then I think I hear it hit maybe the three string or the two string, it doesn't really matter, but then it immediately lifts down or lifts up the pinky finger to re-roll back off of that open one string to the two and three again, so that you get something like this. So that fall off of that one string three fret back to the open one, it feels a bit unnatural because it's breaking a little bit from what your right hand has been doing. You've got to kind of purposely got a hiccup on it. So. Instead of just letting that flow keep going. But if you listen to the recording version with it, you can hear that. So that round, those uh, stack on each other for a total of uh, like four times through, I think. And then you hear Stapleton's uh, kind of main electric in the middle channel. So the way that he's playing this chord, he's barring it. I say he's barring it. He's The finger shape looks like he's holding down an A major, but this should not be an A major chord that you hear ring through. So whenever I say that you use your first finger to bar on the second fret of strings three, uh, of strings four and three, you definitely want, do not want for that bar to continue in a way that you can hear the second string two fret ring out because that's not the chord. It's really just kind of an A5 chord that is 
ringing through. And Stapleton's strumming, even though, like, if you watch, like, he's kind of going all over the place, he's really focusing on these top, or these lower three to four strings to get the tone. So you want for your picking in this to get kind of tight so that you're just hitting the bass side of the guitar as you go. First off, on the down up, 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 down up. It's just a real stiff down up, down up, one and two and three and four and sort of feel there. And you're starting it, you're starting it with striking the open six and the open five string. But then on your up, because remember just down up, down up, by that time you hit that up, you need your second finger to go down to the six string three frets. You've got and then by the time of the next down, you're lifting this finger off of the fretboard and you want to emphasize the open five string so that you get. And then on the next up strum, you're also wanting to really kind of emphasize the open A string. Now that's not all that's coming out. Like if we were to just really isolate the notes, we're going. Six string three fret, back to the open A. But it's it's happening in a down up, down up, down up, down up. So I think I've gotten us this far. Then we go back to second finger on the six string three fret. Then lift again, emphasize the A feel. Now your second finger will go down on the five string three fret. That's making kind of a relative C. So you'll pluck down on that. And then immediately lift up your second finger to re-expose the A string. And then go back with your second finger to the six string three fret. Pluck down on that and then your up strum, you're lifting your second finger off the fretboard to re-expose the five string. So again, slowly the notes that you're playing through is something to just really kind of stop and hammer in with your right hand and get it clean between your right and your left hand plucking. Once that rounds through the intro a couple times, the, the verse chords come in. The first chord you're going to hear is a version of an F chord. You need your ring finger on the five string three fret, your pinky finger on the four string three fret. Your first finger pull it back to the two string one fret and then if you're uh, if you have the dexterity to do it, reach around and grab with your thumb the six string one fret. If you can't do that, just avoid the six string altogether and strum from the five string down. Now in this strum, I feel like I can hear Chris Stapleton hammering on with the second finger to the three string two fret. Down, up, down, down. I feel like this strumming pattern gets you through uh, all of the verse, like down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So the first chord is the F. So down, up, down, up, up, down, up, and then on the next down, you're switching to the next chord, which will be a C chord. So ring finger on the five string three fret, 
be hammering with your second finger to the fourth string two fret, just like you did in the F, but now you've got an open three, and your first finger is still on the two string one fret. And then you go to a G chord. The G chord uh, Stapleton plays it this way. You're going to have a second finger on the six string three fret. Just let your second finger block out the A string altogether. You'll have an open four, an open three, and then pinky and ring fingers pulled back to the third fret of strings two and one respectively. And then you'll go to your A minor chord, which was the same chord from the intro. And you repeat the F to the C to the G to the A minor. Second time through, F to the G. It holds on the G here. And you can hear in the back half of the G chord that hammer on happen with your first finger getting pulled back to the three string two fret. So first round of the, or first half of the G and the second round is just down, down, up, up, down, up is what I'm playing there. I'm probably breaking a little bit from the original strumming pattern, but as long as you stay in rhythm, that's all that matters. So I'm going like down, down, up, up, down, up on the first half of the G and then by the time I'm hitting my next series of downs, I'm hammering on my first finger to the th three string two fret. Um, does that two times. After the last G, it builds on a that's an A minor. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, rest, rest, rest. And you can hear the drums do a little feel, a little fill there. And then the chorus chords come in. We're going to be a G chord. And it does kind of a quick hop up to an F. So you've got a G, so a down, up. Up, down, up, down, down, and the last two downs are two different chords. So it's a G to an A minor F. So you just jump straight to the A minor, jump to the F, and then you jump to the C chord, and then an F G. So the way that that last thing is getting hit, so you've got the G to the A minor F, and then C. Don't jump back to a full F, just put your pinky finger down in the C chord on the four string three fret. So you hit, you kick on that and then you go to the G chord. So that's the first time through the chorus. So G, A minor F, to the C chord, to the F, G. And that F is just one quick kick, down G, repeat, G, A minor F. C, and now F, C, G, and that's a quick change, but it's really only the movement of one pinky finger. So once you get into the C chord, so the difference between the F and the C is you just put your pinky finger down on the four string three fret, hit that once, lift your pinky finger while leaving all of your C shape intact, and then you go to the G chord. So last, first time through the course, G. A minor F, C, F, G, G, A minor F, C, F, C, G. And that's just a down, down, down. Um, and that speed is... Or, I'll just skip the chord there, G. C, G, A minor F, F, or C, F, C, G. So you can hear me even wanting to hold on that F and skip over the C, but it's important to go back to that C there. And then it rolls back into, I think it holds on the G for a while in the chorus, and then it rolls back into... back into the verse. So, those are the chords and the movements for How to Play White Horse by Chris Stapleton. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how to approach the song.